love doing comedy. It's my favorite thing in the world. Uh, the only thing that sucks about it is that my parents don't think I'm going to make it doing this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it sucks they don't believe in me because they do believe in ghosts. Um, <laughs> Do you guys get why that's hurtful to me? Do you understand? Do you understand that my mom thinks it's statistically more probable that there's a Victorian era apparition floating through here than that you all will laugh tonight? Do you understand? Every time you're quiet, she wins. So please, a little louder for me, if you could. Um, thank you. Um, I'll tell her that. I'll be like one person in Lancaster. Love. Me. She's gonna be like, I knew it. Uh, I was right. Um, I, <laughs> uh, no, they're actually they're actually pretty supportive. My mom and dad are just very different. Like my mom is this like short, sassy, redheaded Eastern European lady, and my dad is afraid of her. Um, and, yeah, actually, we all are. <laughs> we have like family meetings without her to discuss how we can tiptoe more lightly in the house. You know. It's scary, it's scary. We're all afraid for our lives. Um, but uh, I have immigrant parents. Anybody else have immigrant parents? Okay. All right, not enough, but it's fine, and I'm still gonna do this set. So, <laughs> if you don't have immigrant parents, so here's all you need to know for these jokes, okay? There's two types of immigrant parents. You either have parents who came here on purpose to pursue something like a career or an education, or you have parents who came here because they were fleeing something. <laughs> All that breaks down to is your parents are either now doctors or they hit you growing up. Okay? <laughs> Don't clam up on me, you guys. <laughs> when I used to tell that joke, I used to say B, and then the one red whites got scared, so I changed it to hit. Is that better? Should I? <laughs> Should I say spank? Would that make the pure bloods in the room more comfortable? Is that... Great, yeah, we workshopped a joke together tonight. That's fun. <laughs> uh, this is not a joke, just a fun fact, but immigrant parents love to hit their kids in bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Ask your friends. They do. And no one knows why. We, there are no answers on this, no studies currently being done. But I like to think it's because they love the acoustics. <laughs> Come on, we all sing in the shower. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think they hit you and you're like, oh, and they're like, oh my god, was that an E sharp? Wow. <laughs> I did not know you could do whistle tone. It's very cool. <laughs> One more time, we're at Carrie. You know, it's like. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is if you see a mom with an accent taking her kid to the bathroom in Macy's you know it's going down, okay? <laughs> They're on their way. They're on their way. Macy's was scary, but the, actually the scariest store for me growing up was Old Navy. Old Navy. Yes, I, I, I know many of you think it's this sweet, wholesome, all-American store, but if you don't recall, in the summer, they sold one dollar flip-flops when you walk in. A floor-to-ceiling one dollar flip-flops. And if you don't have immigrant parents, you don't know that a flip-flop is their weapon of choice. <laughs> the chocolate, here it comes, okay? Oh, maybe selling them for a dollar? They're selling immigrant AK-47s for a dollar? Oh, maybe it's a Cabela's for immigrant moms, okay? And I stand by that, okay? I do, it was scary. I'm part of this like gentle parenting uh, generation. Have you guys heard of this? It's like, it's really weird. It's like when your kids come to you with a problem, you like listen to them. It's weird. I, <laughs> I'm still not fully processing what it is, but um, like, I think it's good though. Like, I, I don't think we should hit our kids. Like, I'm not gonna hit my kids. I'm, I'm gonna abort them. Um, <laughs> Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to put you in a moral quandary here. But, 
of, of what's better, hitting or abortion, you know? It's like, if only you could do both. Um, but you can't hit your kids. And you can't have your cake and beat it, too, you know? It's, you know. <laughs> uh, I, like I said, I have immigrant parents. My, my parents are from Bosnia, and I, and I love growing up with immigrant parents because uh, you get to like live in two different cultures, you know, so you get to pick and choose what you like from each culture. And my favorite thing about being Bosnian is we swear like crazy. It's chef's kiss. <laughs> it's really a beautiful language. Um, like one of the most common phrases in my culture, and I'm telling you guys, like little kids, so, like old grandmas, like use this just in their everyday vernacular. It's yevetimate, which means I fuck your mom. Um, <laughs> It is in the present tense, and I can't explain why. <laughs> uh, people who say it the most, moms. Um, also can't explain that, so I'm gonna unpack later. Uh, but I was trying to, like, it sounds really aggressive, right? Like, it does, I'm not gonna lie. But I was trying to explain to my friends, like, what it's akin to in English. And I'm like, you know, sometimes it's, like, casual. Sometimes it's not that aggressive. Sometimes it's just like, ah, oh, like, fuck it, you know? And I was like, it's kind of like when you're shopping with Cheryl and she can't decide between the black or the beige shoes. And you're like, Cheryl, I fuck your mom, get both, you know? Um, <laughs> you, you guys know Cheryl. That's me. She's nice. She's um, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was a late bloomer. Um, I know everyone's shocked. Um, I, yeah, I was a late bloomer, and here's how I know: because in high school, I was a sexual health peer educator. Yes, yes. Which, if you don't know what that is, that means that I went around my school district and I taught kids my own age how to have safe sex because those who can't do teach. 